Nice. Ready? We're all ready. Hey, welcome to Tarp Castle episode three. I'm so lucky to have so many friends who are musicians and today we have one of them who has come here to be part of the show. So please welcome May Rio. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming to Tarp Castle. What we're going to do is we're going to hang out, we're going to talk, we're going to play some games, and throughout the process of filming the episode, you're going to win some coins, depending on how good you do at the games, uh, how good you do at being a good guest, uh, and the princess determines all of that. So she'll give you the coins. At the end of the episode, you exchange the coins for jelly beans in the same amount, so if you win... 13 coins, you win. 13 jelly beans. Yes. Correct. Unless you get all the coins, which is 35 coins. And if you get 35 coins, you're going to bring home a brand new six can cooler. Great for the summertime. It can hold a six pack of 12 ounce cans. And it's never been used before. You know what I thought would be a good prize actually is a Fitbit. Do you know what a Fitbit is? I know what a Fitbit is. I don't think anyone wants one. I don't want one. Okay, if you win 35 coins, which is all the coins, I'm gonna buy you a Fitbit. And not like a shitty one, like I'm gonna get you a nice Fitbit. You, you can't get... give it away as a prize before you have it. It has to be like the cooler for now. You're not gonna win 35 coins, but if you win 35 coins, I'm gonna buy you a Fitbit. <laughs> if you get 34 <laughs> coins, you're gonna get the cooler. So there's two big high ticket, oh, okay. two high ticket uh, prizes. Usually, the last oh. episode we would do a thing where we drew a card and that determined the game, oh, but yeah. I forgot to do the cards this time, and every time, honestly, I've told people choose the top card because it's just a slideshow, so now it's not a... We don't we'll have tell to you the games that we're playing. First, we're playing Rapid Fire. Welcome to Rapid Fire. The way Rapid Fire works is that I'm going to Rapid Fire ask you five questions, uh, trivia, all sorts of topics are covered, and if you... And it's rapid because you have five seconds per question and you have to answer you can't skip you understand so five questions five seconds each you have to answer uh rapidly and if you get it right then the princess gives you coin a coin let's get this show going are you ready to play rapid fire all right first question five seconds who's the most talented rolling stones member keith richards wrong mick jagger okay yeah. One What's point. more fun, water slides or roller coasters? Uh, water slides. Correct, water slides. Coin. One Did you point. give her a, a coin for the first one? I liked her answer. It was okay. original. She got it wrong. I get to give out the 1,140 oh. times two minus six. Um, okay, it would be two, 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 two Three, four. Time. Two, two, Damn. seven, three. Okay. Italian food. Five, four, uh, three. Pasta. Two. Correct. Okay. That was, that was good. Final question. Are you going to give her a coin for that? Yes, I am. It's Maybe too you should rapid keep fire. the coin bag open. Okay. <laughs> okay, final question. Five seconds. Rapid fire. Do you like painting? Yes. Five. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay, wrong. wrong. But thanks for playing Rapid Fire. I feel like we're all warmed up and we're ready to play our first real game. Welcome back. Rapid Fire was so much fun. You did pretty good. You won some coins. Well on your way to winning 34 coins or 35 coins. You could get the cooler or the Fitbit. Um, and this game, you're going to have a big opportunity to win a lot of coins because we're playing... The stinky stable. <laughs> These are nice. They are nice. People usually end up, well, people, we've only done this twice, but everyone who's had the coins kind of wants 
they would rather keep the coins than the jelly beans. No. But that's just not how it works. Yeah. Welcome to the stinky stable. Today, the stable's been really, really stinky. And you're the stable hand, and you have to clean it up. But you can only use your nose to find the poopies and you have and then you have to pick up smell it out use a pooper scooper and depending on how well you sniff it out pick up the poos um the princess determines how many coins you get etc okay so let's you let's uh get you blindfolded and handcuffed and and we'll get going it's never been worn that's okay it's silk oh in front okay So the horse poo is really, really stinky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the horse poo is really stinky. And today it smells like YSL cologne. Mm. Okay. Careful with that. So a couple of poo spritzes. <laughs> and then the stable hand who picks up the poo all the time is really familiar oh my with God, how the poo you smells. sprayed so much. Oh okay. That's so now that you know what the poo smells that's like. That's seriously like we need a fan. Okay, maybe now um, we'll clear the set and then the stable hand will be on set and then the horse comes out and drops a load and then the game starts. I don't know how you're going to sniff it out though cuz the whole place kind of smells like the poo. How am I, um, <clears throat> I'm scooping it? Put your hands out. That's a pooper scooper. We didn't practice any of the games beforehand. The horse took the load? Yes. So it's, okay. So I'm, I'm um, sniffing around for the poo now? Sniff yeah. around for the poo. Okay. Like this? Oh, she's close. You gotta scoop it though. You can't just, you can't just squish it. You gotta scoop it. Uh. Maybe try like um, having it open while you press the That's floor. That's a good idea. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Otherwise so if you pull it, then it's open. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I, okay. I didn't think we had to teach you how to use a pooper scooper. <laughs> oh. 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 No. Did I? I got it. You gotta pick it up. <laughs> That's how you play the stinky stable. Okay, I'm gonna take your glasses off. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for playing the Stinky Sable. You did a really good job, and now it's time for the princess to tell you how good a job you did by giving you some coins in exchange for the stinky mess you cleaned up. Four coins! Wow, thank you. Amazing work, May. Keep it up. Four coins, not a lot, considering there's... <laughs> Only a few games that we play, and you have to get 34 coins to get the cooler and 35 coins to get the Fitbit. Okay, welcome back to Tarp Castle. <laughs> We're about to play the next game of episode three. The night you introduced yourself to me uh, as if it was the first time we ever met. Uh-huh. There's no easy way for me to say this, but we had met like five <laughs> times before that. And from my perspective, I thought you were approaching me to say, what's up? And and not, uh, you know, nice to meet you. Because we had probably had four or five conversations before then, so. It's all water under the bridge. Yeah. 
to you. To you. I also <laughs> forgot to do this in the beginning, but I do want to apologize really quickly to Rookie Mistake, uh, my guest from the last episode. I kind of came on strong and I was accusing them of not following me. And that was like the whole reason I invited them on the show is because they like asked me for their opinion of their new EP, but they didn't follow me on Instagram. So then I was like, come on the show. And I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, turns out they follow me just on their personal accounts and they're really nice. They're really sweet guys. And uh, they just made a new Instagram for the band. And so going forward, I kind of want to make Tarp Castle, you know, a fun and relaxing environment for all the guests. Uh, I so appreciate everyone who comes on and I just don't want to like put anyone in a weird position going forward. Okay, sorry guys. So the next game is, oh, I forgot to come up with a name for this one. Um, <laughs> Hit back and The robot. No, the robot. Uh... Okay, time for the next game, which is the robot. Yeah, it's medieval times. You have no idea what a robot is, but luckily, the Arcturus is there with a bow and arrow to save <gasps> the entire town. And the way it works is a robot is gonna come out, and then there's a sticky uh, uh, a mouse trap on the robot's belly, and you can if you shoot. The robot in its sticky zone, the arrow will penetrate yep. and kill the robot. Yep. How are you, princess? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. How's the kingdom? Kingdom is good. Seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> Protect me, May! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the screen cracked! May! Oh my god, it really did crack! <laughs> Maybe let's just do it with. I don't know if they're gonna stick over. Did, have you hit it? Yeah. Oh. Put one on and I'll cut. Okay. And then like pretend like you hit it. Okay, uh, welcome back to, to Tarp Castle. Thanks for playing the robot. Now the princess is going to give you a certain amount of coins depending on how good she killed the robot. So you are going to get four coins. Thank you, Four princess. coins. And is there another opportunity to win coins? Yes. What is it? Oh. It's no. There's no more? Well, that's the last game. Oh, then I give you more coins. Five oh. coins. Oh, cool. Five more coins from the princess. And That's then a lot of give coins. me give me a genuine compliment. I I really like your TikTok account. Aww, yeah. three coins. The yeah. Tarp Castle account. Yes. Yeah. Oh. No, I I said her TikTok account. My oh, TikTok. Okay. Yeah. But I like the Tarp Castle account too. Thanks. Okay, so twenty coins, twenty jelly beans. Let's make it happen. You can't choose flavors, just do 20. Five, six, seven, eight, oops. Nine, 10, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. It felt way more set up last time. Yeah. I feel sad about the way that this show went. Yeah. Personally. Can we try something where you're like kind of mean? Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe we redo the conversation where I say like, oh, like the first time you introduced yourself to me, we had already met. And then maybe you say something mean back, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. Can you think of her? Like, I'm trying to think of something mean to say. I could just be like, oh, sorry. I don't know. It was, it was like goofy. It's not really that mean. Yeah, okay. Maybe you could be like, I guess you're kind of forgettable. Okay, yeah, easy. Do you want to try it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. May, congrats on 20 jelly beans. I do have to bring up something that's been eating away at me for over a year now. Do you remember the night you introduced yourself to me at the bar? Which bar? Rebecca's. No. You came up to me and you said, hey, my niece loves your TikTok account. Are you Joey? Before that night, we had already talked like five times. Like I knew, like we had had multiple conversations. So it kind of, hurt my feelings and made me feel like whoa yeah so what's you just didn't you i guess you're kind of forgettable okay yeah maybe that's not that funny that that just felt like kind of mean <laughs> yeah it did all right uh we'll just do the take where you're nice to me instead okay okay welcome back this is our second installment of Advice from the princess where uh, viewers write in and ask for advice from the princess who helps them because the princess always helps her people. Okay, so today our first question comes from Flaming Lip 69 I bit my lip pretty bad and now it's like a gnarly sore. I keep accidentally biting it again and making it worse. My doctor said I should just stop doing that and wait for it to heal on its own, but it's driving me crazy. Help me, Princess. Signed, Flaming Lip 69. Princess, help him out. Okay. Um. Well, if you can't stop, well, I think what your doctor said is actually right, and maybe you should listen to your doctor. Stop biting it. But I understand that sometimes when you have a sore on your lip, it's hard to not bite it because it's right there under your teeth. Um, so maybe try like some Vaseline or something. It depends what kind of sore it is, I guess. Salt water, uh, Listerine. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, my column, my column, hold on. So you sorry. can put some, do some gargle, some salt water. Um, I had a friend who got her tongue pierced and she did that. So our second question uh, says, Hi princess, I'm having a really hard time deciding what color to dye my eyebrows. Looking for something fun and festive. Would love your opinion. Signed, Miss Plain Eyebrows. Okay, another good question. Kind of hard to tell without any photos. Uh, but we'll see what the princess has to say. Uh, so take it away. Miss Plain Eyebrows, thank you so much for writing in. I appreciate your trust with such a serious matter. Your eyebrows are one of the first things people notice about you. So it means a lot that you would trust me with picking the color or at least advising the color. That is so generous. Um, pink, I think. That's it. We gotta be quicker with this shit. Okay, um, I would say it depends on your skin color, uh, your undertones, your hair color. No, no, no. All those things affect, because pink might look good on someone, but it might look shitty on someone else. So. Pink? No. They didn't ask you. They're writing in to Princess right. Darla. If you're curious, I would say, you know, maybe pink, maybe something else, depending on what the rest of you looks like. Okay, thanks so much. Uh, if you have questions for the princess, you can write in. There's uh, a link in all of the bios. Um, it's anonymous, so, you know. Please keep writing in. Thanks so much for everyone who's written in. There has been one person who uh, signed, said something. They said, princess, how do you work with incompetent people? Signed, I hate Joey the Knight 101. And then three days later, there was another entry that said, Princess, I too uh, know what it's like to work with incompetent people. Uh, 
how do you work with these horrible men? No signed, spoilers for signed, the question. Signed, I hate Joey the Knight 101 again. And it's like, we can see all your things. So, like, you just made the same joke, but again, and you tried to make it, like, a little better. Like, you thought of better wording to do it three days later. But, like, it's just, it's a little cringe, if you ask me, that you did it three days separated, and it's obviously the same person. You could have uh, made it a more impactful... Uh, roast of me like you could have hurt my feelings more if you made me believe that it was two separate people saying it but you like signed your name the same way and it was just like if you're gonna try to make someone feel bad online like be smart about it or be creative about it okay thanks so much for tuning in and now to close the episode may is gonna play her own song called fun so good thanks may um you know 